snorkeling. We got a life jacket for you. Yeah, I was a big dog, you gotta pay for a seat. <laughs> Over 700 islands, soft white sand beaches, crystal turquoise waters, and gorgeous resorts help make this country rank as one of the world's best vacation destinations. Yeah, a spot for ya. Nassau, Bahamas. Another day in paradise. To the Bahamas, Ma. What's up? We're in the Bahamas, baby! In this video, we'll take you inside four of the top resorts of Nassau in one really good Airbnb. First, its most famous landmark, the Atlantis Resort on Paradise Island with Aqua Adventure Water Park and its extensive marine habitat where you can snorkel with sea life feed stingrays, and more. Next to Atlantis, the powdery white sands of Cabbage Beach. We'll show several options for boat tours. First, charter a boat to show the homes around Paradise Island and some of the surrounding islands. Then hop on a ferry to downtown Nassau and New Providence Island, exploring the cruise port, Bay Street, then to the lavish British Colonial and next door to the Margaritaville Resort. Here we take another boat tour to Pigs Beach on Athol Island, show Rose Island and Pearl Island, a cruise excursion. Next to the Margaritaville Resort is Junkanoo Beach, a great place for tropical drinks or a horse ride on the beach. We show the fish fry area for more great Bahamian food, where Welly shows us the conch salad. Now folks, this is the Bahamian Viagra also with no side effect. Further down, we take you inside the Baja Mar, one of the newest resorts of Nassau, with huge pools and a large pier. Amazing. Good drinks, pretty water. It's gorgeous yeah. here. And next to Baja Mar, Goodman's Bay Beach, with more water sport fun, boat tours, jet skis, and parasailing. East of downtown, Montagu Beach, We'll give you tips on getting around Nassau, food, and shopping. And at the end of the video, talk about how to bring a dog to the Bahamas. How you doing everybody out there? Welcome to the Bahamas. So come, take a dive with us as we explore Nassau, a Bahamas getaway. A quick note before we start. With boat tours in Nassau, many don't have informative websites like you see in the US. I had to do lots of calls and research to compile the info that will be in this video. So I think will be extremely helpful for you in planning your Nassau getaway. This video might be long, but will be worth your while to watch to the end. I think in the long run, we'll save you lots of time. Bailey says bye to Phoebe the Flamingo as we depart Tampa boarding an ATR 42600 prop plane. I chose Silver Airlines because they have a non-stop flight from Tampa to Nassau. Silver is a regional airline serving the Caribbean, the Bahamas, and Key West from the southeast. They were great with a dog. It's about a 90 minute flight from Tampa to Nassau. A nice look at MacDill Air Force Base. There's also multiple flights out of Miami and Fort Lauderdale. I booked our photographer on American Airlines because I had points with them. He flew on a Boeing 737 jet. But the advantage to flying on a turboprop is you fly at a lower altitude, thus giving you a more scenic view of the turquoise waters of the Atlantic and some of the other islands of the Bahamas before you reach Nassau. I wanted to arrive in the afternoon so that I could pick up my rental car and have plenty of daylight hours to get used to driving on the left side of the road, as well as my required veterinarian appointment for Bailey, and find my Airbnb. We arrive at Linden Pending Airport in Nassau. Alright, let's cover some logistical things before we have some fun. The rental cars are an easy walk right outside the terminal. Nice to meet you guys, man. Make a good decision. Come in the Bahamas with us. The best 242, man. All over the world. 
I had booked budget rental cars, but they wouldn't allow a dog, so I went with Avis. Avis was great, had no issues, and this Suzuki Ignis worked good. Gets 40 miles to the gallon, and it was fun to drive around. My Rocky Top dog loved it. The Bahamas used to be a British colony. They gained their independence from the United Kingdom in 1973. That is why they drive on the left side of the road here. But most of the cars here have left-sided steering wheels, like in the U.S. You do eventually get used to it. I think I only went on the wrong side of the road only a few times. And you have to keep saying to yourself, stay to the left. I thought it was neat how they communicate by horns. You'll hear lots of little beeps of horns. That is saying thank you, or them letting you know you can go ahead of her. For transportation, you can take a taxi, which runs about $30 to $40 if you are going to downtown or Paradise Island. You can also take the bus, known as Jitneys, $4.50 one way. Oddly though, it doesn't come into the airport terminal. You'll have about a five minute walk to the JFK roundabout on the outside of the airport. From the cruise port, you walk two blocks south to the corner of Bay Street and Frederick Street or the bus stop next to the House of Diamonds. The number 10 Jitney is the one that covers all the tourist areas. From downtown all the way down to Cable Beach, which is just past the Baja Mar Resort. The bus, however, does not go to Paradise Island, but you can take the ferry that we'll show later in the video. Now, once you get to downtown or the beaches, you can rent an ATV. It will run from about 300 to 350 a day. We'll show an ATV tour and rental later in the video. By the way, the Bahamian dollar is pretty much equal to the US dollar. Businesses will take either, so no need to do a money exchange. But I would bring lots of ones for tips and to have some cash on hand as some smaller eateries and services won't take credit cards. One other thing I wanted to address is the travel advisor that the U.S. had recently put out. Of course, you want to use wisdom, keep your eyes aware of your surroundings. But really, I felt safer here than in most U.S. cities. Most of the crime is in the over-the-hill neighborhood. It is from a couple of blocks south of Shirley Street to Wolf Road, and from about Nassau Street to just east of East Street. I'm driving on Wolf Road here through the edge of it, because I like to live dangerously. Actually, the veterinarian where I had to go to when I arrived here was on Wolf Road. The majority of crime is gang-related, retribution-targeted violence, very little random violence. In most of the tourist areas, you are not going to have any issues, no more than any of the beaches in the U.S. You just don't want to be wandering off into any isolated areas late at night. Again, use common sense. For lodging, I found this Airbnb that was in a decent neighborhood. It is called Paradise Place. A two bedroom, one and a half bath unit was 160 a night. That's including all fees and taxes. I stayed in late January, which is prime season. So I'm sure during most of the year, you'll find it even cheaper. It had a fully stocked kitchen, large enough for six guests, a very comfortable living room, and is pet friendly. It is well suited for families with a nice comfortable master bedroom and a bunk bed and crib in the kids room. And if you mention Tampa Aerial Media, you'll get a $50 food store gift card upon check-in. To find this place, search Nassau Bahamas and look for Paradise Place. It's on Commonwealth Road at Hudson Street. Location was great too, 10 minutes from Atlantis, five minutes from Harbor Bay Shopping Center, which has a Starbucks, and I think the best grocery store on the island, Solomon's Fresh Market. Be advised though, food is expensive. I'd say about 60 to 80% higher than the United States. They had a salad bar, which was great. More than just salad, but cooked meats and vegetables. It was about $11 a pound. So really a good filling meal for a hungry guy like me was around $20. And the bagger was wearing a Vols bandana. Hey, hi, Rocky Top Country. Rocky Top, we're number five in basketball and we're gonna be number one in football this year. Yeah, there. Across the street from Harbor Bay Plaza is Montagu Beach. This beach is not as busy as Cable, Junkanoo, or Cabbage Beaches, but it is a great place for a lunch break with Maxi's Bar and Grill for tropical drinks, salads, sandwiches, lobster rolls, conch fritters. There's picnic tables overlooking the boat traffic in Montagu Bay. And across the bay is Paradise Island. This is also the site of Nassau's oldest fort, Fort Montagu, which dates back to 1741. 
Well, this is a great beach for sightseeing. It's not really good for swimming with a rocky shoreline. You can also take a boat tour from here to Rose Island. See thepigbeach.com. All right, let's go over to Paradise Island to show you some boat tours in Nassau's most famous resort and beach. Come follow me and you will see a tin cabin in the wood. So get away where lovers play like only lovers could. On the left, the Atlantic Resort that we'll show in a little bit. This bridge crosses over a little strip of land called Potter's K. It's a $2 toll northbound, but no toll going back southbound. They only take cash. On the right is the Margaritaville Grill and a marina with fishing charters and several boat tours. There's Sandy Toes Tours, which has a full day excursion to a private island, which is about $230 for adults or $179 for children 4 through 12. Also, Seahorse Sailing Tours with a three and a half hour sail and snorkeling cruise that is $99 for adults and $59 for children under 12. And also at the Margaritaville Grill Marina is Powerboat Adventures, which will take you out to Exuma Island. It's $300 with tax for adults and $189 for children. I am chartering a boat with Captain John. Call up the chef. Call the conch man. Yeah, call him the conch man. So I guess, and he sells them yeah, on sells the island. Them. We pass by the Warwick, an all-inclusive adults-only resort. Captain John points out several celebrity homes. These homes go for eight million and up. Just the property alone is worth two million. This here is the owner of the Sandals Resorts. And this is former NBA star Shaquille O'Neal's home. On the end of the island is the Ocean Club Estates, which is part of the Atlantis Resort. My Rocky Top dog looking for sea turtles. She says they don't have them in Tennessee. Now leave your There's Oasis Ocean 7 boat tours. They also depart from the Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. They have a four hour snorkeling tour from $225 for adults, $195 for children. It goes to Rose Island to a private beach and includes Bahama Mama's Rum Punch. And there's Exuma Escape Tours that depart at the Bay Street Marina, which is in downtown near the cruise port. So probably good for cruise ship passengers as it's close to the port. It is $120 for adults and $92 for children, 2 to 11 plus tax. This part of Rose Island was once being developed for a $1 billion Ritz-Carlton Resort, but Marriott pulled out when its Lehman Brothers Investment Bank collapsed in the mortgage crisis of 2008. And finally, there's Pearl Island, another cruise ship excursion with snorkeling, kayaking, a lighthouse, private cabanas, and bungalows. All right, we now head back to Paradise Island on the east part of the island the Ocean Club Golf Course, which is part of Atlantis. Nassau's famous landmark, the Atlantis Resort, is made up of multiple towers. It originally was the Paradise Island Hotel and Casino, which opened in 1968. But when the Royal Towers opened in 1998, the hotel was renamed Atlantis. The bridge suite is what connects the two towers. If you want to stay there, it's $25,000 a night with a four night minimum. Well, I didn't have that kind of money to show you the view from there. I was able to get a room on the 23rd floor, which is about five floors higher than the bridge suite in the Royal Tower. Looking out to the east is the Harborside Resort at Atlantis. These are waterside villas with spacious units with a full kitchen and laundry. You can book on Verbo. These are also close to the ferry terminal. Looking out to the west, in the distance, is the cruise port. And closer up is Dolphin K, where you can do playtime with dolphins or sea lions. It is $225 to $250. Or you can kayak with dolphins for $125. Or paddleboard for $75. 
You can also do a 30-minute snorkel through the sunken ruins of the lost city of Atlantis for $200. Also, the Stingray Experience, where you can feed the rays in a shallow lagoon for $150. If not a guest, you'll have to purchase a day pass. Prices vary by season, but during prime season, it is $195 for adults or $92 for children 4 through 12. This gives you access to Aqua Adventure Water Park, Atlantis Beaches, and The Dig. Of all the aquariums I have filmed, nothing compares with The Dig, just massive. It's the lost city of Atlantis with a wide variety of sea life. Aqua Adventure has several water rides. This is the Leap of Faith. Propels riders down 60 feet through a tunnel submerged in a lagoon with marine life. There's the Rapids River with a mile long meandering loop going through caves under palm trees. There's also over 11 sparkling swimming pools. On the inside, a plush casino and shops. We were here to film a conference, as well as doing this travel video, and the convention center ballroom is stunning, with massive multiple screens displaying the video I did for them, and the food absolutely delicious. Excellent if planning a conference here. Adjacent to the Atlantis Resort Towers is Marina Village, a quaint outdoor mall with shopping and a combo of fine dining as well as grab-and-go eateries, a Starbucks. Among the dining, there's Sip Sip for Bahamian Caribbean food and also the Seafire Steakhouse. Also next to Atlantis is Cabbage Beach. This is a very active beach with lots of activities going on. It's a public beach, so it's free to enter, with the exception of the Far West Inn, which is on Atlantis property. For renting beach chairs, they might try to charge you a higher rate, but you can usually negotiate and get beach chairs for about $5 or umbrellas for $10. There's also kayaks, jet skis, parasailing, and banana boat rides available with my own water sports. From Paradise Island, the ferry boards just under the northbound lanes of the Sydney Portier Bridge. It is $7 one way or $14 round trip, at least on weekends. Might be a little cheaper during the week. They only accept cash, runs about every 30 minutes or so. There's the little Nassau glass bottom boat, $40 for adults, $30 for children, plus 10% tax. It departs from Goodman's Bay Beach that we'll show in a little bit. There's also a Sunday party cruise, the Booze Cruise, which goes out to Sandy Toes Island. It departs near the ferry dock. We arrive in downtown Nassau, going to head to Senior Frogs right near the ferry dock, also close to the cruise port, at times a lively restaurant. They have a nice waterside deck, as well as a tiki bar at the end of the pier. Our photographer having a Bahama Mama and beef tacos. I'm having jerk chicken pasta. Was delicious. Staff was absolutely great. Very friendly. Bringing Bailey a water bowl. Um, it's nice to live here. You know, I'm born and raised here. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. Once you hustle, once you do, you do it right. 
and you try to live right, you have a good life here. In the downtown area, you'll find the straw market and lots of arts and crafts, as well as live musicians. Ran into a fellow Bucks fan. Go Bucks! Yes, sir. <laughs> Tempo! Bang! There's the Pirate Museum, an interactive pirate experience. $14 for adults, $7 for children. And next door is Smugglers, a pirate-themed eatery. Just a word of caution, you don't want to go too much further south than this as you get into the over-the-hill neighborhood. So stay close to Bay Street and you'll be just fine. There's the Tropicana Club for Peruvian and Caribbean cuisine. The Colony Place Irish Pub. And you'll find lots of jewelry stores. I'm going to the Twisted Lime Sports Bar and Grill across from the Harley Davidson store where you can pick up some quick food. I'm having some conch fritters, eating in a nice grassy spot that is in the Cruiseport area. While you'll find downtown Nassau to be older, even parts of it a little run down, the Cruiseport area is very modern and new, having just done a $300 million renovation in 2023, which included a huge 3,500 person amphitheater for regular live music performances. Port Nassau is the third busiest cruise port in the world by passengers, only behind Miami and Port Canaveral in Florida. It attracts 3.7 million passengers a year. Just a half mile from the cruise port is the British Colonial. This is a four-star luxury resort, which you can get combo deals on through Expedia and also book a Hertz rental car, which is located right at the hotel. They have a day pass like Atlantis, where non-guests can get private beach and pool area access. It's $100 for adults and $50 for children, ideal for cruise ship passengers. Next to the British Colonial is the Margaritaville Resort. Also offers a day pass for the same price, $100 for adults and $50 for children. This resort certainly has more fun pool areas, especially for kids, with the Fins Up Water Park, featuring water slides, a lazy river, climbing wall, and surf stream, as well as a beach bar. At the Margaritaville is the Point Marina. This is where we're gonna take the Bahamas Water Toys and Tours public boat tour. There's a parking garage here, so a good place to park for visiting downtown or taking this boat tour. This is a three hour tour for $250 per person. They also have a one hour jet ski ride for 200 around Nassau, or a two hour ride for 300 that goes out to Pig Beach and a floating bar, or a four hour tour for $400 that also includes snorkeling. This boat tour starts out going around the cruise port and then into the Atlantis Marina. Our first stop is Athol Island. Exuma Island is the more famous island with pigs, but it's 80 miles southeast of Nassau. So if you do that, it tends to take all day. Whereas Athol Island is only 20 minutes from Nassau. They give you a cup of food for the pigs so that the pigs will come right up to you. Bailey is wondering, what kind of dog is that? This tour gives you a good 30 minutes to swim and feed the pigs. You can see across the water is Pearl Island that we showed earlier. They also provide free drinks here as well. In addition to the pigs, there's loungers, swings, and a hammock. Gee, I could stay here all day. But it's time to move to one of the other islands. We go to a site off of Rose Island for snorkeling. Bailey keeps an eye out for sharks. There's been a lot of shark attacks in the Bahamas lately, but the crew says there's no sharks in these areas that they snorkel in. 
Ben and Kaylee, visiting from upstate New York, take a dive in. You get about 30 minutes to snorkel. Oh, it's so beautiful. Lots of little fish, lots of little colors. This tour also takes you to a floating bar. But on this day, it was closed because there was high winds. Wherever we're going, I could not say for sure. We head back to Nassau. Next to the Margaritaville Resort is Junkanoo Beach. But it's better than before. But he's the cure. Everybody swimming in sunshine. Everybody feeling fine. Everybody join the fun line. Ain't nobody left behind. You could easily spend a whole day just on this beach. It's one of the more popular beaches of Nassau. And it's the closest public beach to the cruise port. It's a good place to get quick Bahamian food and tropical drinks with several beachside little huts. I'm enjoying a pina colada at this great spot next to the Margaritaville. Ja, a spot for ya. Nassau, Bahamas. Another day in paradise. Here, through Expedia, with CS Water Sports, for just $70, you can book an all-day rental water sports package, which includes kayaking, paddle boards, and pedal boats. I put a link below. We in the Bahamas with this horse. I'm from New York. On weekends, you'll find Phil here, who offers a horse ride for $25. Bailey gets to do something I was never able to do with Bella. Possible we're drifting, but it doesn't seem to be Findable what's missing, but we've never missed a beat Can't you see? Everybody swimming in sunshine Everybody feeling fine Everybody Yeah, yeah, once I get off yeah. Ain't nobody left behind here I met Andrea, Addie, and Tiffany, visiting from Minnesota. You have to go on a horse back ride, and I know most humans I know don't even get to Also here are CNC scooter rentals. They offer a three to four hour ATV tour for $200 and go to places like the Queen's Staircase, Fort Fincastle, which are two places that I only recommend if you are a part of a tour like this. Because if you walk there on your own from downtown, you'll have to go through some of the not so great neighborhoods. But with a tour like this, you'll be completely fine. And you also tour many of the beaches we've shown in this video. Ain't nobody left behind. <laughs> <laughs> Next to Junkanoo Beach is Western Esplanade and Long Wharf Beach. Across the water is the Nassau Harbor Lighthouse, which is on the western tip of Paradise Island. Hey, Wally. Hey, what's up? What's up? This is my boy right here. And just a half mile from Junkanoo Beach is the Fish Fry area. The Fish Fry is a long strip of eateries, from sit-down restaurants to beach shack barbecues. It is here you can really taste the true local foods of Nassau. And one of the best is this little shack at the end of the strip called On the Edge, where Welly is going to show us the conch salad. This is the sweet peppers I'm chopping right now. We also call this bell peppers. Now this is the tomatoes. This is the Bahamian Viagra also with no side effect. That for the gentlemen, man. You know the ladies want all type of energy. We need some extra energy, man, and that help, okay? Not too much for the kids, just the adults. All right. It's part of my decoration. That's the spice right there. It's called the Bahamian goat pepper. I watched a guy one time, he came down. He said, if I bite one of these, how do I know it all so sweet? I said, just try it. What you guys did to me? I said, I didn't do nothing. I told you, you wanted to see if the pepper is real. Basically raw. And it comes with the onions, tomatoes, and sweet peppers. That's why we call it kung salad. <laughs> Folks, that's how it looks when it's done. Folks, the orange and the lime. Hey! <laughs> so Elvis, welcome to the fish ride, Nassau, Bahamas. This is Driftus at the Fish Ride. Driftus is a nice restaurant too. This is Candice, where you get your daiquiris and your cigars. This is me, Elvis, at the Fish Ride, Big Yard. Your meat is freshly prepared the way you want it. You can get it fried, steamed, grilled, or jerked. 
And we also carry baked macaroni and cheese. It's not on the menu, but you have to try the baked macaroni and cheese. It's a local thing. And guys, Big Mama is in the kitchen. We now head four miles west of downtown Nassau to the second largest in the Bahamas' newest luxury resort, the Baja Mar. It's actually made up of three hotels, the Grand Hyatt, the Rosewood, and the SLS. Each offering stunning views and an epic selection of pools with unbelievable tropical amenities. It sits on what most will tell you is the best beach of Nassau, Cable Beach. With two and a half miles of shoreline, there's plenty of space for sunbathing, overlooking the colorful waters of Goodman Bay. The sand incredibly soft and refined. For those staying at Baja Mar, the water fun rentals are complimentary, includes paddle boards, kayaks, water hammocks, and floating lounges. Ran into this family from New Jersey and asked them what they thought of Baja Mar. Beautiful. Yeah, it's so good. I love it. Yeah, so is this resort treating you good? Yeah. yeah. What, what do you think of NASA? I mean, pretty water. It's gorgeous. Yeah, here. I also got a brace on this ocean. Pretty ladies. Yeah. There's a super long, expansive wooden pier that allows you to walk deep out into the colorful bay, overlooking the breakwater jetty and the Cable Beach Eco Reef that is great for snorkeling. This was created when the resort opened in 2014. Under the water, you might see starfish, conch, barracuda, lionfish, and more here. There's also the sanctuary where you can feed and interact with nurse sharks, stingrays, sea turtles, and Caribbean fish. Also, Flamingo Cay where you can mingle with the flamingos. I found the rates here for these marine life activities tend to be much lower than at Atlantis. And there is also Baja Bay Water Park. If you are not a guest, a day pass is $146 for adults, $60 for children, 3 to 8. It has 24 water slides, two water coasters, a lazy river, and a wave pool. I like the layout here. Compared with Atlantis, I think it's much more convenient for guests. Less walking to do, more eateries, food trucks that are scattered about, much closer to the beach and pools, and more restrooms and changing stations throughout the pool area. There's the massive palm lawn for events, weddings, and they sometimes set up large screens for public events like the Super Bowl. On the inside is the Crystal Palace Casino. And there's Cafe Madeline, a counter served eatery with a nice outdoor terrace. Also the jazz bar, very lively at nighttime. Across the street from the hotel is the Royal Blue Golf Course was ranked number one on Golf Week's best of 2022 list. It's a Jack Nicklaus signature golf course. It is intertwined with a network of lakes. Next to Cable Beach is Goodman's Bay Beach. This is a public beach with a parking lot, both at the east and west ends. It's a wide stretch of beach with lots of shade from the trees. There's clean restrooms, although no food, but you can easily walk a quarter of a mile to the food trucks of Baja Mar. For water sport activities, there is Bahama Joyride and Snorkeling Adventures. Last one on board, you take you right to Palmoral Island for an hour and 30 minutes. You get to snorkel on a beautiful cold reef. You get a chance to spot a turtle. And after that, we take you to the dolphins. We got seven dolphins over there in the sanctuary. You just get to see them, you know. But you don't swim with the dolphins, but you get to snorkel with tons of fish. You get a chance maybe to see turtles, stingrays. And we got seven dolphins. So it's just an hour and a half of fun with the animals. Yes, we have the power sailing for $100 a person. Uh, that's eight to 10 minutes in the sky. Jet ski is $120 half hour, double or single. If you got a couple of people, you can get up an hour and share it. I'm a dog friendly. Yes, also. and look here. She is swimming for free with us. <laughs> Snorkeling <laughs> is complimentary. Yeah. We got a life jacket for you. Yeah, if it's a big dog, you got to pay for a seat. <laughs> <laughs> they also have a banana boat for $35. And finally, as we wrap up, there's Saunders Beach, located two and a half miles east of Baja Mar and a mile west of the fish fry area. This is a more quiet beach. No food outlets on the beach, but there's a KFC across the street nearby. In conclusion, yes, food in the Bahamas is expensive. And yes, there is that travel advisory, but I wouldn't let that worry you or stop you. 
As with anywhere, you always want to practice situational awareness. Don't wander off alone in an unknown neighborhood at night. If you are a female, be cautious of where you get your drinks from. Make sure it's a public place with other people around. As while I was in Nassau, there was a case of two girls getting raped in Freeport on an island excursion from Carnival Cruise Lines. Also, be aware of the sharks in the sea and the sharks on the land. Anything you do with cash, whether it's buying a drink on the beach or going on a boat tour, make clear what the price is up front and repeat that price to them so that they know clearly you will not pay anything above that rate. Really, most of the Bahamian people are very friendly, very welcoming, and the beaches are just unbeatable. So don't let the negative news and people scare you. It's really great in the Bahamas, and you're safer here than most cities in the U.S. And I work on the edge, on the fish ride. When you come out the fish ride, look for Welly on the edge. I always recommend these Kurgle Dog backpacks. Of course, to keep your dog from excessive walking, it allows you to take your dog to places you maybe otherwise could not go. And if your dog is a service dog, while you are traveling, you can put your dog in one compartment of the backpack, and there's another compartment you can carry other things you need. I put a link in the description below. If bringing a dog to the Bahamas, in addition to your normal pet travel documentation, you need a Bahamas import permit. You can try to file with the Bahamas Department of Agriculture yourself, but that might take a while for them to approve it. They work on island time. So I'd recommend going through BahamasPetPermit.com and fill out their online form. They will usually get you approved within a few days. You pay a little extra, but it's worth it. And they also list all the other requirements. Now, if coming from the U.S., Bahamas only requires a regular health certificate. You don't need an international endorsement, otherwise known as a pet passport. I also put links and phone numbers of the services and places featured in this video, which I think will be very helpful to you. As many businesses in the Bahamas can be a challenge to get the info you need to help you plan your Nassau getaway. These gentlemen will get us up to Tampa in about two hours and six minutes at 14,000 feet. So just sit back, relax, enjoy. So I'd love to hear your experiences in Nassau in the comments below. We are Tampa Aerial Media. We film travel promos across the USA for stock footage. Or if you would like to hire us to film your region, city, or resort, contact us at info at tampaaerialmedia.com. As we arrive back in the Tampa Bay area, we'll be doing full feature videos of St. Petersburg, St. Pete Beach, and Clearwater Beach in the next few weeks, and maybe a couple other videos on Florida's west coast before we possibly do Alaska in the summer. I want to thank all of you for your support to this channel and watching this video. Always welcome your comments and feedback. I enjoy reading them. And a special thanks to our channel members. Bye. Bye, pretty baby. <laughs> Say bye, Bailey. Bye, Bailey. Everybody swimming in sunshine. Everybody feeling fine. Stop the wine. Well, I wish blessings to you, wherever you may be.